Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Pick of the Litter. This is a uh, ABC Family series, I believe. Um, it's one season so far. It's from 2020, and uh, it's six episodes as so far. I, there might be more coming. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a docu series. It follows six dogs um, that have been raised since puppies to be eyes for the blind. So that's kind of really cool. Um, I learned a lot. Uh, I did only watched one episode, uh, but it's I learned a lot about what's involved. I realized I didn't re I did not realize that uh, it involved actual regular families helping to raise these puppies in order to prepare them for actual formal training. I just figured they just kind of went to dog training camp and <laughs> were pretty much raised from the, you know, in a learning situation, not just a family situation. And we get to know not just the dogs, but the families that train them um, and just teach them how to be friendly and uh, obey commands and interact with the world that is both as a puppy, but also as somebody who's responsible for someone's life. Uh, because <laughs> when they're not enough, when they're not ready enough to, to handle that kind of thing, well, uh, they get reassigned, let's just say. And that's not euphemism for being going to the farm or anything. That just means that they just aren't gonna work for helping lead the blind, um, being a seeing eye dog. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way of saying they failed uh, in, in their testing. Uh, but uh, each this whole episode uh, basically is meet the dogs. The first episode, anyway, is just meet the dogs. It shows them as they uh, as we get to all the different type of people, uh, a mother and a daughter, uh, a mother and her teenage daughter raising uh, one pup. And when they say puppies, these things are still like good 15, 16 months old and they're they're big, they, they look like that size, not like that size. It's, they're, they're all, I think they're all Labradors. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, along those lines, uh, they all pretty much are the same breed, either black or, or, or brown there. Uh, they're, uh, some are a little bit more excitable than others. Some follow commands better than others. And uh, you could still see the puppy in them, but it's kind of neat to see them also when they put on the vest you see them uh, take on the role that they were trained to, to have. Uh, like I said, there's a mother and a daughter who it was their first time uh, training a puppy, which was uh, kind of exciting for them. Uh, there's other people who have, uh, from all walks of life, uh, a single woman, a transgender teen, an entire family, uh, and a woman who's actually trained 25 dogs at this point um, and it's not an easy path because uh, only 11 of her 25 dogs over the years over many many years uh, have actually passed and gone into the program uh, she she does her best and she's they're all all of them are really passionate about making sure these dogs do their best and uh, you get to see the, the special like test that they have to pass in public in a, on a busy street uh, surrounded by different textures and distractions and whether it's do other dogs or cars or people uh, it shows that they have a certain sense of control and uh, not all of them make it through that thing so easily um, <laughs> but uh but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing more about these. I might, I might continue. Uh, I think I don't know if these are added at once a month or once a week, uh, but uh, so far this seems uh, pretty interesting. They, uh, this is definitely shot in 2019 because nobody's wearing a mask. So, <laughs> and they're all in California. Believe it or not, there's over 2,000 uh, people, families that uh, are on the West Coast. Just, just in, on the West Coast, over 2,000 uh, people uh, that are assigned or are given the opportunity to train these dogs from puppies uh, to enter them into the system uh, where they can help and do, where they can do the most good. So it's kind of, kind of really neat. So I, I really, there's not a whole lot I can really tell you about it. Uh, I don't want to 
spoil any of any of the twists and turns. It it does have a, a do, it's a docu series, but it has a little bit of a. It's not a reality show drama kind of thing, so you're not like, will Taco make it to the next round? And then they go to commercial and they come back. The last time we okay, we're stopped for the commercial, Taco was having problems with other dogs. We, 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 and then they re, they spend ten minutes refreshing what just happened in the previous ten minutes, which just you know it's not a that's not a show. You know that's what most reality shows are. It's 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 a forty five minute show and they really only show ten minutes worth of crap. Uh, this is not that. So I, I can at least tell you that you're gonna get. You're going to learn a lot about these dogs. You're going to learn a lot about what they do, and you're going to learn about a pe about the people and the process that they go that they know and that they go through in order to become uh, something really important uh, in today's culture. So, because uh, everybody deserves uh, the ability to get around and see, and what better way than to with these guys? So, guys and gals. So, I. Uh, Highly recommend it. If you love dogs, I mean, oh God, they're so adorable. They're so freaking cute. And if you would just want to blow some time on a rainy afternoon or a snowy afternoon as we reach the winter time here, um, just cuddle up under a blanket and just watching puppies and dogs be adorable. Uh, this is for you. All right. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 408. Oh. For 11 to 408. Well, that's not a. Oh! Oh! We get a really brand new one. This is also a 2020 thing, from what I understand, because I keep seeing it in the main rotation, at least it ha I have for the last few weeks. But, uh, 408. Uh, I don't know if we've had, uh, anything with the series, be this series before, these characters. But I know them well. I've, I've met the creators a couple years ago. It, I can't even tell you what that conversation was like, but uh, <laughs> it was not what I expected, but it was funny. Uh, this is a Phineas and Ferb movie, Candace Against the Universe. This is not one of the earlier films. This is, I think, a 2020 release. Uh, it's uh, premiered on uh, Disney Plus not too long ago since, uh, I mean, this is the first production I think they've had that's new premiering on Disney Plus uh, since Disney Plus was created or launched. And hey, by the way, we're almost a year or we're almost a year uh, to the the one year anniversary of Disney Plus. It's crazy. We've been doing one every day since then. So yeah, Candace Against the Universe from Phineas and Ferb, uh, the movie. We're going to watch that you know, on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow.